Do bad teammates really hold you back in Rocket League? Or, if you're truly better than your current rank, shouldn't you just win most of your games? There's definitely two sides to this debate, and today we're going to explore these questions by way of a five game series I'm calling the Bad Teammate Challenge. Now I don't want to draw this intro out too much, so let's just get right into the action and I'll explain how it works as we go. Alright, we're getting right into game one and it's time for you to meet our hero, Trumu. Well, actually depending on your stance on this issue, maybe he's not your hero. Trumu might be the guy you're hoping fails horribly. See, Trumu is Diamond 2, made evident by the fact that he goes for a flip reset on this save. I don't know, Diamond's man. The lobby he's in right now, though, is all plats. So Trumu is here to answer the question, can a higher ranked player really overcome bad teammates and win more than he loses? So Trumu's gonna have to definitely use some adaptation skills. Uh, things are a little different in plat. For example, we team up to try and go for clears there. Um, so I'm going to expect him trying to fill the holes, maybe playing more safe, uh, though ball chasing when it's necessary, he might be able to carry these guys. It's going to it's remain to be seen of how he's going to actually play it out. So you could kind of think of this as a reverse of one of those videos where a lower rank tries to prove himself in a higher ranked lobby. Instead, I've taken someone who has proven themselves to be a better player and seeing what kind of data and results we can get over the course of five games with him playing with the ranks below. Um, we're going to look at some more detailed statistics to see if he actually does stand out at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. So far we're over halfway in, uh, Trumu has been playing safe, covering for some whiffs when he can. He hasn't got a goal yet, but his teammates are doing alright, once again they teamed up to hit the ball. Uh, we might not even be able to call this a 3v3, it's more like a 3v2, uh, because those guys seem joined at the hip every time they're doing something, so kind of weird, it's working for them. Sometimes you gotta team up to carry a diamond I guess. Trumu does get on the board here with a bit of a lucky pinch. Coincidentally, luck is the same thing that got him to Diamond to begin with, so that's kind of funny. Now, I'll go over more details of how I selected these plats later in the video, but the one thing you should know is that none of them know Trumu is the higher ranked player. So, as this game is finished, Trumu managed to get MVP here and the win. Um, we're going to have the five plats vote of who they think the higher ranked player is. And that's going to show us if a player a full rank higher does actually stand out to opponents and teammates. So we got some votes in already here. Trumu ended up with three, Dead Dog gets a vote, and Gil Bates gets a vote. We're going to mix up the teams a little bit and go on to game two. All right, we're in Wasteland for game two. We've mixed up the teams a little bit now. We're not going to be able to do every combination in five games, uh, but we are trying to mix it up as best we can. So remember, Trumu is not trying to hide. Okay, He is going to be trying his best to see if he can put together some wins despite having bad teammates. Now his opponents are just as bad, for lack of a better word, um, but really that's the reality of someone who thinks they are below their rank. You're going to be better than your teammates, but you should also be better than your opponents by that definition. So that's really what we're simulating here. Now, never a good look when you go to rotate back and your teammates are all down in your end, but that's, that's plot for you here. Trumu trying for some fakes. Now he's definitely been making some efforts to set up his teammates. There's been some nice passes that uh, haven't been completed. So uh, the bad teammate simulator is uh, working as intended. Oh, we might have a glitch in the simulator. That was an interesting double touch there. Uh, so we get a, a plat goal. Plat has got blue on the board. It's 1-1. Getting let down again by Vantic. Now you have to think that Trumu would like to get on the board here soon. Um, he's second on the score sheet, but he might have an opportunity here. Nope. <laughs> Vantic jumps in front of Trumu. I'm not sure who would be the right person to go for this here, but that's the same Vantic that's let him down a few times when Trumu passed to him. Uh, it's a 3-1 lead for Blue though. Trumu can't complain about that. Trumu trying to steal goals now. He's definitely feeling desperate. Almost like he knows that thousands of people are going to be watching and judging him. That might out him as a diamond. That seems like a diamond thing to do. Trumu gets free. Oh, good ball control. He might get a chance here. Yeah, Trumu actually had some skill involved there. No luck. Nice flick. He's on the board. He should be happy now. He's got a goal. Game two in the books. Trumu is not MVP. He is a ball hog, though. I would agree with that. Only two people voting for Trumu as the high ranked player. Uh, Jay Sihano with two goals also picks up two votes and Gil Bates gets one again. Let's move on to game three. All right, we move on to Utopia Coliseum for game three. Mixed up the teams a little bit again. 
Chumu looking to try and make it three wins in a row. Can he pull it off? Now, I did seem to have to remind Trimu from time to time that he was not trying to blend in with the Plats. Uh, kind of scared me a few times there with the uh, the own goal attempts. It's alright, he gets the ball out. This one actually turns into a pass and a goal. So Trimu picks up an assist for that play. So an uh, own goal attempt turned into pass. There's some uh, diamond luck for you. Late in the game, 2-1 for the orange team. Trimu hanging on, looking for that third win, but then gets burnt hard by Ironbeard to tie late. Trimu was quoted as saying that uh, this guy's got some moves, but looking back, looks like those moves are just turning slightly to the left. That's all it takes uh, to beat a diamond, I guess. Uh, Trimu was not one to be uh, beaten like that, though, so he does come through less than a minute into overtime. Uh, two of the blue players not stopping it back post, and that cost them here. Nice goal. Trimu, three wins. MVP. The votes come in. Trimu once again having three votes. And uh, Gil Bates on the other team, who has uh, showed up every game as a potential. He has two votes as a suspected higher-ranked player. Game four coming up next. Can Trimu keep the streak alive? Let's find out. All right, we're dropping into game four here, already in progress. And the first thing I wanted to point out is just how hard Ironbeard got denied here. He just stopped dead. But just remember that, because we're going to fast forward a moment here. And the Rocket League gods are going to come back and repay Ironbeard with the pinch of his life. So this is a bar down cross field banger. Uh, but it was only clocked at 64 kilometers per hour. And we know it's faster than that. Uh, so I was able to load up a speed mod and clock it at 156 at release and about 146 when it hit the bar. So quite the shot by Ironbeard. Orange has the lead, 1-0. One, one of the things that stands out as being the high rank player is recoveries, as you're seeing here. Like he's quickly back out after a miss and then back in. And those are the kind of things that create goals. So you can often trace goals back 10, 15 seconds of something someone did right or wrong. So the way he was able to get out quickly and get back in is just evidence of his higher rank. All right, we're in the dying seconds of the game. Only one goal lead. Trimu dodging demos, making saves, <laughs> having his teammates clear it back in front of his net. Somebody's the mafia there, but he's able to hold on, get the win. Trimu, not MVP this time. He's only been MVP for half of his wins, uh, but he's finding a way to make it work. Uh, people are getting more convinced. He's definitely made his case. Four votes for Trumu. Gil still picks up a vote. He might be voting for himself. I better double check that. <laughs> We're heading to game five. All right, game five. This is it. Can Trumu complete the sweep? Basically, at this point, I don't think there's much left to prove. He's been fairly dominant. Even if he hasn't led his team in scoring, uh, he's played the role that's needed on his team for them to win. Uh, the Bad Team at Challenge is kind of a simulation of what it'd be like if you are better than your rank. Uh, the sample size is small, I'll admit. Five games is not a lot. Now, as we're watching these uh, whiffs and, and misplays, maybe it's a good time to talk about why I chose these specific plat players. Now, I know some of you are probably typing a comment up right now telling me they're not plats or your lobbies are faster. Uh, but coincidentally, comments like that is where these people came from. So some of these guys commented on one of my previous videos. So these people basically are you. But in reality, I know this is all just going to repeat itself because you guys are going to comment saying that these guys aren't good plats. And then if I bring you in, then the people watching you will say that you're slow. It's never going to end really. But one thing I do want to see different this time is if you want to call out the plats or even my diamond, that's fine. But I want you to include your gamer tag, your platform, and your Discord in your comment. Okay, let's see if you can uh, stand behind your claims. All right, we're already halfway through the game. It's a stalemate, 0-0, zero, zero, still waiting on our first goal. Bit of an unfortunate position here by Trumu. Just at the wrong place, a uh, little bit of a play off his teammate, I think. Yeah, not really expecting that bounce. Gotta hurt. <laughs> Slow roller. Uh, down by one. Orange has definitely been playing a really good defensive game. Been holding Trumo off. He's had a lot of chances. There's been some decent passes as well. Uh, just none of it seemed to be working out for them. 
True move having some boost problems here in the last 30 seconds, going all the way back to his zone to pick up boost. Orange doing a really good job clogging the mid, not letting Blue out of their own zone. They're going to run out of time. And the Plats have done it. Trumu has suffered his first loss. one nothing loss. Kind of hurts. Trumu was the best player on his team points-wise, but it wasn't enough. Votes come in. This is our final vote. Across the board, all five saying Trumu is the highest rank. So I asked them to guess his rank because I didn't tell them that either. And I was actually surprised uh, most of them got it. So it was a mix of Diamond 1 and Diamond 2 for their guesses. Going into the more detailed stats, uh, Trumu led most of the categories, points. Uh, goals were pretty spread out, but he did a tie for first there. Lots of shots. Shot percentage is low, but that's all right. He had that pressure. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Only nine goals scored against his team's total. So that brings to an end the bad teammate challenge. So thank you to all my participants, uh, the Platts. You guys played well, represented your rank accurately in my mind. Uh, but we'll see what the comments say about that. Big thanks to Trumu, my diamond, also known as Dillard. Dillard's been a longtime Patreon, so I appreciate his support. If you guys want to support me in that way and have a chance to get early video previews or the chance to help out from time to time, make sure you do check the link in the description. As always, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, um, and check out my other content. My name is Rocket Sledge. Thanks for watching.